All right, so today's video, we're watching a Gold 4 Kiriko on console. It was one of the worst Overwatch games I've ever had, they say. I was dueling with our Winston, and we were completely focused throughout the match. We managed to take down their Kiriko so many times that it practically felt like a 4v5. But apparently it wasn't enough. We even tried stepping up our game and targeting their entire backline, but it still didn't turn the tide. Things fell apart on our defensive ramp. Our team synergy crumbled with Mercy flaming our Winston, Junkrat flaming our Soldier, and Soldier blaming me for not keeping him alive. The comms were a mess. Was that... I'm so confused here. Was it like a domino effect of blaming your teammates? Because there wasn't any consistency here. It started with the Mercy blaming the Winston, the Junkrat blaming the Soldier, then the Soldier blaming you. So who didn't get blamed here? Because that started with blaming the Winston. Okay. Soldier kept dying repeatedly, and I was torn between sticking with our team to peel for him as he wanted, or diving in with Winston as planned. I chose the latter, did it last though. It was a tough match all around, and I'm left feeling frustrated and disappointed. Well, let's see. Did you have, you know, you know, stay in the back with your team or dive? We'll find out. So that's your start. All right, it's just gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Good dive. You already went in there, Ash. It's good. So far, so good. Kind of just spamming around. I mean, outside of your start. Um, okay, good thing you cleansed the floor. Yeah, everything looks good. I was just wondering. Oh, actually, I can see a patch of grass growing down there now, too. So, looks like you're able to get some... Uh... That was good. All right, you're on the mercy now? I don't... Okay, wonderful. This is great. Remember, I, I know why you cleanse there. You don't have to make it a default to cleanse the mercy every time. If they're if they're out of range, I mean, if, if like the other team isn't, has no follow up to the res, you don't have to use your cleanse there because like you might want to use that later. Like obviously you didn't have to, but it just gets you in the habit of not using important cooldowns when you don't have to use them. You know what I mean? in the world is going on? Rank is this? I think gold on console, I think it was. Oh, and didn't you say you like, the game started with you diving their Kiriko a ton? Am I, am I seeing it correctly or there hasn't been too many dives on their Kiriko? Unless I'm just, this isn't the correct timing. Yeah, push the card. It's gonna be you for now. Which is fine. I mean, you'd, you'd prefer to be up there. But like, is your soldier lost? I, I don't understand. Like your soldier didn't know if they should go backwards or just stand in the middle of the open. All right, I mean, that's just a bad, I mean, that's just a good play by them and a bad TP. Like it's just kind of like both. Maybe there's maybe there's something that happens next. This is Goldia. Why is the Mercy falling the Winston in for dives? I don't know. Being more active in the team fight. I'm not saying it's a suggested play, but it certainly isn't the most ideal one. They said don't charge the punch. Yeah, but like, what if you do six damage to them? You know, that's the trade-off. So, it was the same map though. You know the Reaper's somewhere there. Like, it's obvious. Okay, well now you definitely know the Reaper's there. Now you got the right idea. Oh yeah, I mean, he's, I mean, if I don't see two amazing Reaper alts, are we even watching Overwatch? So, I feel like I have to pause, and the reason why I have to pause is because what what are you what are you saving your Katsune for? And let me, let me let me ask you this question: Right now, your team is in a good spot. You have map control. You have snowballed them. The, the last thing you want to do is give them any opportunity to be able to push out of these doorways. Because these doorways are, are really easy to hold, especially when you have an alt rotation. And you're just waiting. 
You're not using your Kitsune. You're not making a play. You're just waiting. And this is like where you can just lose team fights this way by not being proactive with that ultimate. You need to use Kitsune. Like you have to because if you don't use Kitsune here, then they're going to be able to go out. So like you can, your team can blame whoever they want, all this and that. But if you're letting them get out of a doorway for free without using any of the five or sorry, Mercy doesn't have it yet. Four ultimates that you had, then you're just giving them opportunity to retake. And that's going to be a problem. Like you, like Kitsune is too good of a, of an ultimate to not just use, to not just use. Like, and just leave there the whole time. Now your team is going to win this team fight, but you don't even have to be in this opportunity. Good, good, good dive in the back line. Good decision making going in with your team there. So. Don't be afraid to go in there and cleanse sooner than you just did. The cleanse ended up being... You didn't even have to use it. But if you're going to cleanse the Reaper, you just go in when they're using their ultimate and cleanse them, and it's just they're unkillable, and they're going to heal up even sooner because they can just... Uh, they're going to get more of the life steal from the ultimate. And now, for people wondering if they should use Kitsune in this room, no. No, that, 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 it's, it's not worth it if you don't have much follow-up. Like, you're just going to end up wasting it, and there isn't, like, a lot of, like, places for the Kitsune to go. Third point here is a great Kitsune lo location. I'd recommend using it the moment you have five again and don't snowball in. Uh, we'll see, though. Good TP out. Your soldier's dead now because everybody looked away. Yep, that, that was going to happen. I love the moment where, like, a player just commits the idea of, like, I have no other teammates in front of me anymore. I'm leaving. And then they leave, and then they're just, that's it. And then somehow it will be their fault. Granted, the soldier was out of position. Okay, there you go. I'll, I'll take it. Finally. The Kitsune has happened, and you didn't cleanse half your team. If you if you aim that a little bit better, your Kitsune, you're probably going to get everybody cleared with that, just because of the range of it. But do you see, like, the value of Kitsune, where it's like a, a team fight that seems somewhat lost? And then when you do need to use Kitsune in front of you, you don't use it at all. Although that was kind of a tough reaction, but... I, I want to point out yeah, that probably would have been, like, the second, and, and maybe if you were having a really good go with things, third Kitsune you would have used, between how long you waited on your last Kitsune. Not bad. All right. Bad position and again, lack of cleanse. Don't be afraid to use cleanse when you're getting lower to get out. Like, just cleanse and then TP out. That gives you, like, an invulnerability period that can go really well for you. So try to do that a little bit more frequently. You're doing the same thing. And I, I think you would, like, you had said that your plan going into the game was to just dive in with your Winston because, like, you're duoed with them. But, like, I need to kind of give you, like, the flip side of, like, this whole play. Yeah, that can be your plan. But you need to also be able to make adjustments. Overwatch is about, you have a game plan, but it's very easily that game plan can be shifted. And if you're not the one to make proper adjustments to any of the situations that are happening, you're more than likely going to run into issues pretty much consistently, right? So, like, yeah, I'm watching you do that the whole time. And that's why it's kind of like, you know, if you... Good morning, I, folks. Yeah, your plan with your duo is to dive in. But, like, if the other team is playing well against that and it's not advantageous to you... And the thing is, is, like... And, and maybe I'm seeing a little bit differently. I don't even feel like you're working that well with your duo on the dot. Like, it feels like it feels like the dive is your Winston dives in, and then you both do your own thing. So if you're going to do these type of plays, you also need to, like, get your target focus down and clean up your target focus, right? It doesn't even feel like you're using the correct target focus with your duo. So that's kind of, like, where it's, like, you might have to adjust your play style a little bit and, and focus on that, too. If you're going to go all in with your tank, well, you at least need to be on the same target. It doesn't feel like you are. Thank you. Wonderful. Here with your team. They're dead. All right, that was a, certainly a cleanse. Very light cleanses right now, too. All right, there's the play. Diving in. Did your cleanse just get rolled by the platform? I think it did. A little bit. There you go. Heal your mercy. Nice. Good res by your mercy. Yep. All right. Heal your mercy. Give a Bastion now. That's good. Bastion could shred here on the retake. Like an unexpected play. I want to see a team fight where you don't heck up your Suzu. All right, you went in. 
And then you threw a Suzu on a full HP target? Wonderful. Okay, great. Eh, I'm not worried about the cart. I think you would have lost that anyway, because they had the Kitsune, so and we're not going to play the song on that one. Yeah. So, right now, like, your number one issue, or one of your issues is, like, you have one of the best abilities in the game, and the way you use that ability is just not good. It, your Suzu is, is designed to be this ability that can help prevent a lot of things, or can help heal up your teammates. There's a lot of things it can do. You just use your Suzu on a full HP Winston. And like your question was, do I dive in? Do I dive out? The answer is, well, yes. It's going to be either or, but you have to also make sure you're making the correct decision when you do that. It's not as simple as that, and it's not as easy as that, but yeah, you have to... Your number one issue that you're making right now... I'll explain why no song in a second. Uh, the number one issue you have is that you're just not... There's no synergy between you and your tank that you, you're, you're playing with to begin with. So like, you're like, oh, should I go in? Should I go out? Well, if, you're, if your whole strategy is dive in, get on different targets, then I would recommend staying with your team. If you're going to get in on the same target, go in with your Winston... Do a bunch of burst damage to a target, and then you get out with your Suzu, and now you can help both ways. One of the things that Kiriko was really good at is the ability to dive in and then disengage out and be helpful in both situations. Right now, it feels like you almost all in on one play, and you don't go back, and then you just waste the Suzu. And then when you do go back, you either you either don't use your Suzu, or you get rolled, and then it's rinse and repeat. So it's kind of both, in my opinion. Now at this point is where everybody starts yelling at each other, right? For it. Let me balance you out. Yeah, I guess they, if they aren't yelling at each other, you're playing Overwatch. Like right here. Your Winston, your, your your duo dives in. Perfect. But like I think the way you played that was fine. Right there. The, the cleanse again. I, I I'll give you that cleanse, but I also feel like it's it's recognized in the situation where like they're not taking any more damage after that because you have vision of what's going on. But I'll give you that cleanse. Okay, same target now. So if you're in here, same target. Right? W no. L look look what's happening. Wonderful. You cleanse the floor. You cleanse the wall. You, when you go in with your Winston, same target. Same target. Like, this is better. Go do this. This is fine. If you're not going to go in with the same target on your Winston, stop going in. If you're going in on the same target, it makes sense because you can get a target and then you can, you can get out. This has been a better adjustment, by the way. Right now, this has been a better adjustment by you. See how you're not going in anymore? I think this is going to be a better play for you. Okay, we're in. This is fine. Your whole team's here. What's the target? I don't even care who they get on. They get on the Orisa for all I care. This is the same target. Although I'd recommend more of their backline rather than the Orisa, but you get my point. There you go. Nice. Now, do you see that? Do you see what proper target, like a proper target, like follow up with your Winston is? That's that right there. See that? Perfect. See how your Winston followed up on your target? And that's your duo. You see this? And that right there, if you do that, it will work. If you, st but, you're, but the funny thing is your, your duo is actually getting on your targets, but you're never getting on their targets. And do you see the difference when you have target priority? Now your plays make a lot more sense, right? But when you're just going in and you're just you're throwing Suzu's at the floor and not getting on your Winston's target, it's not going to be good. Oh yeah, the shots were great. Oh, I, I love that. Same target. Stop with the random cleanses. You have a Winston bubble there still. And the Orisa isn't targeting them. They, you don't need to do it right away. All right. No alts. Reset. Where is this gold? Healing up. Waiting. Chilling. Vibing. Doing your thing. Cleansing. Feels good. Winston's in. You're with your Winston. It might be a little bit too late. Also, you have another random Suzu cleanse. That Remember when you Suzu'd earlier and now you don't have it? Now you're going to lose your Winston and now you're trying to go and help? Wonderful. And then you got rolled from behind. I mean, yeah. You, 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 the problem is you you do two things. You, your target priority isn't good and you just, you, you, just, you just waste Suzu. When you need Suzu, you don't have it. 
When you don't need to use Suzu, you use it. And that's been the issue I've been seeing the whole time. That's been the issue I've been seeing the whole the whole game. Do you don't have to go in there? Oh wait, uh, uh, can you get Sune, please? The, 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 holding on this Kitsune, by the way, has been amazing because you just keep holding on to it the whole time. Yeah, it, it, why you're not using Kitsune in these situations, like, I, I want you to, like, look at this and realize how much more proactive you can be with Kitsune. I think you've seen, I've had plenty of spectators where I'm like, Kitsune, Kitsune. And the reason being is because Kitsune is such a good ability that it also helps your teammates. I, I feel like a lot of Kirikos focus so hard on, like, a perfect Kitsune, all of this, like, just so they can get good value with themselves. A lot of the time, when you use Kitsune, it benefits so many people on your team that, like, even, the even like, the worst Kitsunes are better than no Kitsune. Outside of, like, outside of, like, if you, like, Kitsune into, like, a cart and it goes, like, two feet. You know what I mean? And no, uh, your heals don't go through walls on Kiriko, so if you're wondering why they're aiming at walls, that's, I, they're just, you know, they're just trying to clean up the walls. Add some wallpaper, you know? Kitsune, now, go. Kitsune. You missed your, you missed your Suzu again. Kitsune. 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 Kitsune card. Kitsune right now. Right down the middle here. Kitsune. Kitsune. Let's get that Kitsune going as soon as we can here. All right. Now you're in a unique spot. Oh, there's the Suzu again. Okay. Uh, Kitsune. Okay, don't Kitsune. Stop Kitsune now. But, like, you're making this way more difficult. Like, even if you win a team fight, I just want you to Kitsune. Okay, this next team fight, guaranteed win. Well, I can't guarantee you a win. A guaranteed opportunity to win this team fight if you use Kitsune early. Ready? I'll tell you when. Not yet. Not yet. Wait. Still not yet. I don't know why your mercy's flying in there, but... Oh, there's... Okay. Now. No, I didn't want you to TP in. I wanted you to Kitsune from there so it would lead your teammates out. You ready? Okay. Up that, I, uh... What are you waiting for? Is my question. Say hello to the 71 months of the Phoenix Brown. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, What are you waiting for? You know, this, this game went from like a, do I dive in with my team or stay with my back line? That's not even the issue. It's target focus and your your, your ability use. There we go. I'm just glad you used it. I'm just happy you use it to tune because that, that, that. I'm still glad. You, I'm just glad you used the Kitsune. You weren't gonna win the team fight, but you used the Kitsune, and I'm happy with that. But like, I want you to. I really want you to kind of like look at. I mean, the card. They weren't gonna win that again. It was the same concept. It, it wasn't gonna be winnable. But look at the. Just to give you an idea, I want you to take a look at that again. Right? Out of all the opportunities to use Kitsune, you use Kitsune there, and you still, in one of the worst spots to use Kitsune, gone in the limb because of a Kitsune. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, you still managed to get in the limb by just using that there in one of the worst spots you could have used it. But do you see what I'm saying? That's why I'm telling you, use Kitsune more frequently than you actually think, right? Like, use it more frequently than you think, right? Here we go. Or then you dip. Oh, I still think Kitsune is one of the best ults in the game. Actually, my ultimate tier list should be out soon. It'll give you an idea where I think of Kitsune. Yep. Uh, Tire from your Drunk Rat would be good here. They're gonna use it. I mean, I'll see Help your team. Just t save your... Why, why are... So, like, this is what happened. And this is why you said you went into the game with, like, you, you went into the game with your duo, with, like, your plan was we're going to dive in together. But, like, if you really want to, like, win this game and bring this game back, you need to make some adjustments, right? Like, you, it, like yeah, you got the kill there on their, on their I think it was their soldier. 
at the time. Maybe it was the Sojourn or whoever it was. Like, your, your, your Winston probably would have gone that limb to begin with. Your choice was, I'm not going to TP to my Sojourn, Suzu them to save them, keep them healed, and then there's no way the, the Mauga would be able to follow up on that a limb. Now your Winston survives, your Sojourn survives, you survive, the, the, your Sojourn's going to have way more charge shots because the Mauga is now out of position, but your choice was, I'm going to go dive with my Winston. And you wanted to know about diving things? Like, just because your default plan going in with your duo is we're going to dive into their back line, does not mean that you just let your teammates die because that's not a part of the plan, right? If you don't make those adjustments, that's how you just lose games. And right there, I'm not sure if you're going to win or lose this game, but like, it all adds up on that. Like your your sojourn dies there. They, they 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 they. It's just there's a lot that you can improve on with that, and I think that's where your problem is. Is that you you have like this set idea of how you want to play, and you're not you're not straying from that. You're just playing exactly how you plan to go in, and you also randomly throw Kitsune's or randomly throw Suzu's against the wall, but then never use Kitsune. So this ends now. Up. And that's the game. Yeah, so just to kind of summarize this game, at least in my opinion, like you, your, your, your first question was, hey, you know, how do I balance? How do I balance going this way, going that way? Like, you know, what do I do? Like, how do, how do I balance dive in the back line and, and, and going in there? Well, there was a point in this game where I thought you played it fairly well. It was kind of around like, I think it was what, the beginning of the second point where you weren't over diving with your team, like your Winston, and you were staying there. That was a good balance. It, as Kiriko, you have the ability to not have to dive in immediately if your Winston doesn't need it. And if your back line's struggling, you can keep them alive. But your play style was go in, throw a Zuzu, Suzu at a, at, a, at a wall, clean up the wall. Wall's clean, but doesn't help your teammates. Or you, you, you waste your Suzus and then you hold on your Kitsunes. So we'll, we're going to circle back here to kind of go back to the basics of what you want to do here. You get Kitsune, find opportunity to use it. Look for opportunity to use Kitsune. Don't just sit there and be like, I'm going to use it. Just be like, okay, I'm using Kitsune next fight the moment they're there. Boom, Kitsune. Great. Start that way. Start by giving yourself an opportunity to make a Kitsune play. Work on your Suzus, like your aim with Suzu. A lot of your Suzus, you were just missing. Straight up missing. Right idea, not, a, not good execution. So get better at those. And if you go in with a duo, which is totally fine, make sure that if you have a plan, you can start with the plan. But if it isn't working, then you need to make those adjustments. And the adjustment here was simple as stop diving in with your Winston. If you do dive in with your Winston, get in the same target. Target focus. There you go. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. If you want to submit your own, spectate and look in the description below. You'll see my Discord. That's where you would do that. Also, leave a comment. All of that helps. Uh, we also record these live on stream, so you can see the Twitch chat right below the webcam. We have a lot of fun here, so stop by if you haven't. And with that being said, hope you have an amazing day slash night.